Come on. <sighs> Work with me here. better but still needs a bit more love i can salvage this beast i just need to find the right tool for each problem holy ha are you f expecting a millennial to fix up a car this is evil true evil what david have to say chloe this is david did my mom give him my number? Yes, she did. I noticed you took your father's toolbox. Are you working on a project? Sort of. What kind of project? Sorry, I'm a little busy right now. Well, I'm glad to see you taking an interest in something. Keep it- He's so supportive! Oh my god! Okay, there was, there was one more thing that I needed to, uh, to, to read. Okay! Max! I think I want a tattoo! Yeah, I know. It's permanent, right? But that's the thing though, it's not. Not really. Because we're not permanent at all. It's funny how much simpler life seems when you keep that in mind. Like my hair. I wanted to see what it would look like blue, so I did. It looks awesome. One day, I'll make it all blue. And if I don't like it then, so what? It'll all fall out eventually. See how that works? You know what else isn't permanent? David. The fucker searched my room when I was away, and then gave the world's lamest apology. Try to connect with me about his dead friend, which, fine, A for effort, I guess. I just like get out of there and headed to the garage, which David is transforming into his own personal asshole cave. That sounds fun. At least I got what I came for, Dad's toolbox. I bet he would have liked the idea of me using his tools to fix a ride. Off to the junkyard to see if I can get that truck working. I know it's far from permanent, but here's hoping that beast has a little more life in it. Chloe, the impermanent marker. Nice. I'm again. It's this disconnect where you're feeling one thing. I'm like, I, I, I want, I want your mom to be happy. I want David to be in the picture because she makes you happy. I want you to respect that. But she's like, nah, ah, oh, fuck him. His dead friend. Yeah, he probably sucked anyway. It's like, but that's not what I feel. <sighs> Anyways, here we are, looking at a freaking piece of thing. Okay, this recording's been going on for a while. I Gotta can stop. I definitely it's... see some problems. Oh, just need to match them. There's some the problems right in your head, I'll tell you that. BRB. Alrighty, let's have a look at the manual. It's not like I need a manual. But I'm really glad it's here. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Okay, so one, contacts. Remove the carbon buildup and lubricate with dielectric grease. Dielectric is that supposed to be one word or is it dielectric? Trick grease to intake manifold, throttle the body, vacuum the pipe, intake pipe, and then the air filter. That's the distributor car, the serpentine belt. There's your crankshaft pulley, a coolant pump, and an AC compressor in this area. And then there's also a tensioner pulley, which you need to use an 18 millimeter wrench to release adjust tension. Okay. Okay, okay. That's fine. Ooh, no problem. We got that. So. We have some different tools for the job. Here's the serpentine belt. We got that. We're actually going to learn something today. This is going to be fun. It's not like I need a manual. Oh, please shut up. Okay, contacts. But I'm really glad and it's carbon here. Build up. Lubricate with some grease. I need some lubrication. I don't know if I ha have any lubrication. Distributor cap. Let's go here. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. Yeah. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. Okay, something small to scrape the gunk. Not the pliers. The screwdriver? That's... I feel like that would be a better tool to... I bet Dad would have liked the idea of me using his tools to fix a ride. Let's see, something to scrape it off with. Let's... 
guess that would work, because you can just sort of, you know, pa 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 poke at it. That should help keep shit distributed. Well, fuck. Oh, we got a ABFW alert system. What is it now? Air quality health advisory. Arcadia Bay Forest Watch, Arcadia Bay. Culmination State Park fire remains active. Moderate to heavy smoke expected. Limit outdoor activity. Yeah, right now, I'm. Breathing in some f other types of fumes. Go back from whence you came. Yeah, you tell that cap. Okay, but don't we have to lube it up as well? Was that good? Maybe that was good. Okay, maybe we just have to look at these different things. Maybe I'm looking too deep into it. Hey, we have a radio. There we go. Let's get some good tunes going. Looks like someone tried to patch this thing up. Sometime before I was born. At this point, I think that ancient duct tape is better than anything I can do. Better leave it be. Alright, good point, good point. Let's do the serpentine uh, belt next. I just want to have a look over here. It's not like I Crankshaft, need a manual. Pump. We need the wrench to uh, adjust the tension. really glad it's here. You don't need to repeat a sentence if you go back into the same menu. Just keep a bool and check if she's been in the menu before. Pretty loose. How can I tighten it? Ah, uh, let's grab that wrench. This game's so unrealistic. <sighs> Much better. Millennials fixing up cars. What is this? Come on. Let's touch this. This connection is pretty shaky. I could fix this battery post if I could get a good enough grip on it. Okay, that's what we're gonna use the wrench we have for. Not helping. Of course. I, mean, I meant the pliers. I thought of a wrench and then I thought of... I thought of the pliers in my head and called it a wrench. That's how well versed with tools I am. There we go. That's what I wanted. There. Fits like a deadly electric glove. Wonderful. And we just gotta check the radiator cap. This thing seems pretty gunked up. Do I have to degunk it? Uh, I think I should move on to something yeah, else. Yeah, let's just keep the gunk. Can't fight every battle in this world. Let's check over here. This thing is gunk the fuck up. That too? How will I combat the gunk? I could... I could blow it to make the gunk come out? Maybe... Don't put your lips on! No! Ew, you shot it everywhere! Sick! What if that had come the other way into your mouth, huh? Yeah, I'd say that's good. Degunked and ready to go. Spark plugs busted. Carbon deposits. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Those damn carbon deposits, am I right? Please, I need you. Hallelujah.
Yeah. Junkyard Queen, where are you at? Oh, she looks so good. Hey. Holy shit. Your hair. It's so... <laughs> Badass. <laughs> I was gonna say hot. But, yeah. Badass, too. Hey. Not sure if you saw, but someone moved your truck. No way. Should we check it out? Hey, Price. Nice wheels. You're early, Frank. What's the occasion? It's his fucking bar mitzvah. Frank here's becoming a man. Aren't you, big guy? What's he doing here? Hey, I thought we were cool after that Drew North thing. Don't you want to be cool? I just want to talk to Frank. As long as you don't get in the way, we'll be fine. I told you, she's like this. Gotta say, I really dig the whole tough girl thing. Frank was right about you. How'd you like to work full time for us? Don't fucking touch her. Why is it that chicks think it's okay to hit me? But if I lay a single finger on them, suddenly it's a whole other thing. Frank says you were asking about a client of his. That true? Yeah, it's true. I don't see why you should give a shit. You don't? Maybe I'll show you. See, you two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. I didn't go to a fancy academy, but that doesn't strike me as smart. Maybe it was this man's sunny disposition that confused you, but he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see it? We're just talking here. <sighs> okay, then let's talk. I want to know, right now, why you give a shit about this woman? I, sh she's a friend. An old family friend. <laughs> This chick doesn't have any family, or any friends. Look, none of this matters. All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it? You'll find her another way, Stone. Agita- No. Tell me where she is, now. Rachel. Wait a minute. <laughs> 
No way. What the fuck is your pro- Rachel? As in, Rachel Amber? <laughs> that makes so much sense. This is James Amber's fucking kid. Damon. Your dad's a real piece of shit, you know? We're aware. Not sure what that has to do with us. Me neither. But I'd like to find out. Here's what happens next. Come on, man. They're just kids. No, they're not. This one is the fucking DA's daughter. And right now, she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to and how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon, calm down. We're still talking. Everything's still cool. No need to get crazy. Ah! Too late. Ah, <laughs> oh, you fucking bitch! Jesus! Rachel! Damon! What the fuck? Chloe! Go! Now! Never knew I could be speechless. Don't know how to hold on. Shit! 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 Hey! Hold on, okay? I can't be bothered with the teachers. No. No. Always try I'm to not lose the way I act. Ah! I thought she got stabbed in the chest for a moment there. That was, uh, that was a turn of events. Rachel is going to be all right. The knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. She's out of surgery, and now she's resting. Chloe, what happened? It's my fault. I should have listened to you. I, I even saw your file saying Sarah was connected to Damon Merrick. I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I'm not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe. But I need the whole story. So, I got my dealer to meet us, since he knows Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yeah, that's right. But Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? I 
I, I think he wanted to scare us so he'd stop asking questions about his business. Is that how it became violent? When he found out Rachel was the DA's daughter, he, he wanted information about you. And how did he know that I'm her father? Well, we did call out her name. I, I, I called her Rachel. And he figured it out from there. It's not your fault. What happened next? Damon had a knife out, and we all could see it. But then he said something that pissed Rachel off. And she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him. And then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something, but... When he attacked her, I just froze. It's not your fault. And Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream. But I don't know what happened. And then... We were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. What are you going to do about Damon? Find out if he is alive. First of all, my department's been after him for some time. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have... Um... Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. It will be some time before Rachel wakes up. I promise. I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> hey. Steph. How's Mikey? <sighs> Pretty good. Miss Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. <sighs> I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, our room's just down the hall. You should come by. Okay. Sure. Definitely. Is I don't think I can sit still any longer. Might as well stretch my legs while I wait for Rachel to wake up. Is that Mikey's dad? It'll be really nice getting to see him. Oh, I really like this this location. It looks it looks really nice. So atmospheric. <sighs> Shit. I know those guys. Uh, this doesn't look like the maternity wing. You think? Ugh. If you're this useless now, what are you gonna do at 3 a.m. when the oh, baby needs- There's a sign for the prenatal class. Great. I guess that's your contribution for today. Ugh. Those people suck. Wait, who- did I just, like, not understand? Was that a reference? I, I guess I, I totally whiffed on it if it was a reference. If I, this poster seems to be missing some context. What to draw, what to draw. Okay. Okay, nurses. The world wants to know. What's so funny? I'm sorry. We have to... Don't, but don't turn it into like a, a thing. That's this. Cue laugh track. 
Okay, I mean, that's not even, that's just immature. That's not even dirty in that way. Cue laugh track. Yes, thank you. It's, it's hilarious. Okay, so. Then let's go to the playpen. Oh, this is rad. You always wanted to be a pirate, Chloe. Being in a hospital this long sucks. I just want Rachel to wake up, and then I'll feel better. I owe Frank big time. Can't believe he did that for us. I hope he's okay. Not like I can do anything about it in one way or the other. And what about Damon? Is, is he gonna come after us? I actually feel better knowing that James Amber is on his case. Ugh. That's weird. Definitely. Okay, our times on the high sea has come to a close. Let's read some magazines. One more hour of waiting, and I would have read that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mini Golf Monthly. Oh, wow, you're getting desperate, huh? Pamphlets. Mom brought so many of these home when Dad died. And not a single one described how I felt. Okay, I didn't order feels, okay? Damn. Are these all firefighters? Attention Arcadia Bay Hospital staff. Due to the increased volume of patients suffering from heat exhaustion and or smoke inhalation, we've made several additional recovery rooms available. Please proceed only patients in the Wing B. Consult your shift leader for refresher and recovery protocol. Yeah, they showed us a couple of firemen who came in earlier looking all dirtied up. Is that order? Come on. <laughs> Not that I have any coins anyway. Oh, man. Jackpot. It's time for a good old slam! Maybe I could distract her. Are you... Are you static? Are you just a static prop in this? If I want to stay sane, I need okay, to okay. stay busy. Slam! Not giving up. Oh, this piece of candy is gonna be mine. Screw the rules! Slam it! Yes! Yes. <laughs> Jackpot. I want, like, 20 more of those. Couldn't have saved some of that for the rest of us, Chloe? I think this vending machine could be improved. <laughs> oh, yeah. I get it. Alright, she feels confident. Not given a choice here. Nurse, I'll need my forceps to extract this baby Ruth. Ugh. Did you seriously just me? <laughs> okay. Well then. It's a donation box. Guess the citizens of Arcadia Bay aren't feeling so generous. Yeah, you ought to give some since you helped cause the issue. Sean Prescott. What's he writing to the hospital about? I don't know. What is he reading? To, is writing? this for real? From Sean Prescott, Administrator Hofstadter, one of your current patients is Michael North, a student at Blackwell Academy who was injured on school grounds. As the physical safety of its students is a core responsibility of any school, Blackwell has failed Mr. North in this instance. I would therefore like to personally, and I stress anonymously, anonymously cover his medical expenses. If I may be of assistance in speeding the process, do not hesitate to contact me. Okay. It's like Mr. Prescott wanted to pay for that. Probably not out of the goodness of his heart. I wonder if Damon Merrick classifies as a biohazard. He's definitely human waste. It's funny. Then again, I'm just glad that Mikey's dad doesn't have to deal with the, deal with the bill. All right. Have a chat with you then, Anthony. Anthony. 
Is that Mikey and Drew's dad? I wonder how he's doing. Yo, put down the phone. I want to talk, man. All right, then. Thank you. Hi. Mr. North? That's me. And you are? I'm Chloe. You here to see Mikey? Yeah. How are, uh, how are things going? Oh, you know how it is. Ups and downs. Mikey's hurt, of course. But the doctors are saying it should heal up relatively quick. And Drew? Hey, maybe you heard. He's all set to go to Oregon State. Full ride for four years. That's... That's awesome. Hold on. You said you were Chloe. Mikey's mentioned you a few times now. I have a question maybe you can answer. Sh sure Both of those boys have been acting a little... Well... Guilty. Lately. Yeah. I've been spending most of my time looking for work. I'm worried I missed something important. Do you know if anything's going on with them? Oh. Just one point about what he said earlier. Like Chloe asked him how things are going. And instead of talking about himself and the situation that he's in, he immediately went to talking about his kids. And just saying, oh, and, you know, Drew's going to Oregon State and that's so good. And just, I don't know, that was kind of sweet. <sighs> you should probably ask Drew. I uh, don't really know any details. I do know that whatever it is, they did it because they wanted to help you. Thanks, Chloe. I know they've been trying to help me out, money-wise. We're a family, you know? We deal with things together. Oh, excuse me. Well, that's a nice way to get him back into his idle pose. All right. I hope the Norths are going to be all right. Yeah, I hope it's not going to go south. Chloe! Hey, you made it! Hey, Chloe. So, what have you all been up to? Yeah, homework, I guess? Yeah, homework. Totally. Sweet hair, by the way. I bet you could pull off Sailor Mercury. Uh, <laughs> thanks. Any news about Rachel? Her mom seemed hopeful. How'd she get hurt? You'll think I'm joking when I tell you, but I'm not. Why? What happened? Rachel was stabbed in the arm by Damon fucking Merrick. Yeah, that's not funny. Shit. You serious? Fuck that guy. It wasn't because of me, was it? No. Not at all. If if anything, I I should have thought about what happened with you guys before getting Rachel involved. That's crazy. The whole thing makes me want to just I swear if I ever meet that shithead, I'm gonna... What? What are you gonna do when you meet Damon Merrick? Something terrible. Uh-huh. I am. Like... <laughs> Challenge him to a karaoke battle? <laughs> yeah, that's how we settle things on the street, huh? Okay. Throw dice at him. Criticize his taste in film. Okay. Tell him about a band he's probably never heard of, but should have. Enough! You guys are bullies. Anyway, we're glad Rachel's okay. Oh, uh, 
You should hang out here till she wakes up. Rachel's gonna be up soon. Should probably head over when I'm ready. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Did I miss the robot visit? Geometry homework. Read chapter 14, 15, and do page 3 and 14, DVD. Do on Wednesday. Our robot sucks, man. We need you. Can we bring it tomorrow? Man, robots. I never built a robot in school. <laughs> Mikey's nurses must love this. Michael North, admission date, uh huh. Cause for mission, cyborg operation, uranium exposure, dragon bite. <laughs> Medications, healing potion, six magic beans, a kiss from a beautiful woman. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I love it. Okay. And there's suddenly an emergency, and they come in, they're like, oh, who is this? No, oh, there's just junk on this. We can't do this. And then he dies. Like he's entering into a cartoon contest? <laughs> I hope he wins. Michael, sick. Oh, mm -hmm. Michael, success! I was able to get a medical extension for your entry to the Cascade Head Cartoon Contest. I think your superhero designs are the perfect spokesperson for marine preservation. Have a restful recovery, Mrs. Cole. Miss Cole, rather. I'm not a Mrs. yet, but if any of you guys are on there, marine preservation. It's called Aquaman, Mikey. He exists. Look at that. Wells being nice for a change. Michael, I would like to express my deepest condolence. That did not sound like him at all. For your injury, I strive to make Flackwell a safe and welcoming place for all students. I realize now that in many ways I have failed to do that. I want you to know that the students and faculty are rooting for your speedy recovery. Your absence will be felt by all here at Blackwell. I have made sure that your teachers are ready to accommodate any academic needs you may have. As for the matter that you were injured on Blackwell grounds, I can't help but feel personally responsible. I began to look for new security personnel. If there's anything I can do to make you feel more safe upon your return, please do not hesitate to let me know. Sincerely, Principal Ray Wells. I was now from Texas. Can't talk to Mikey, but I can talk to Steph. But I wanna watch a teddy bear. That's cute. I guess. Guess. Steph and Drew aren't leaving Mikey's side. He's lucky to have them. Did you see that? That stare? Just oh, 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 her eyes are just, oh, they're ready to pop. Okay. What are you guys doing? I thought you'd never ask. I had to hide our game from the nurse. She thinks it's negatively affecting my mood. Elamon's backed himself into a pretty tight spot this time. He might not make it. Wait a sec. Calamastia. She can join Elamon in battle. Maybe the two of us together could actually make it out alive. Wait. You're into this nerd shit too? It's a game where I win if I make up crazy shit and act like a badass. So yes. I hate to be such a game master about it, but I'm pretty sure Chloe's character died last time. Oh. Yeah. Wait a sec. Didn't you have that anklet of reincarnation in your inventory? Uh, yeah. I totally did have that thing. Holy shit! So you can actually swoop in and save my ass. What do you say? Oh, this, this, this. I gotta do. Gotta save Elamon. Right? Let's let's boot it up. Get a chair. Get something warm to drink. And let's begin. We rejoin Elamon as he majestically soars over the traveler's path. 